Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my reviews of the candidates from Miss Universe 2021. So last year with the 2020 edition of Miss Universe, what I did is I reviewed all the candidates, made individual videos for each candidate, but right now since um, I am a little bit busy before, so what I'm going to do is I'll be reviewing them by region. So we will be starting with the ladies from the African region. So there's only a few of them and after this we'll just go on, go ahead and continue until I could be able to make my commentaries for all contestants. So. Let's begin with the African region and starting with Miss Equatorial Guinea and she's Chelsea Martina Mitoy. She's 19 years old and she's currently a student. She definitely looked very young and her youthful aura truly comes out and she has the potentials but I feel like in comparison to other candidates from her region, I feel like she really needs to raise the bar a little bit higher, a little bit more. And I feel like she has the potentials if she could be trained properly and if she will be styled properly because she's really beautiful. But as what I've said earlier, again, in comparison, because this is surprisingly, I am so happy to see super, super strong candidates from the African region. And I mean, generally, I'm really talking about the general group. So for Equatorial Guinea, she could do well. But she needs to raise the bar a little bit higher to be able to compete with other strong ladies coming from this region as well. Next we have Ghana. We have Namor Kor Commodore. She is an aspiring accountant and also an advocate for the underprivileged children. She actually got this commanding presence when she's on stage. Love her vibe when I saw a video of her walking as well. Wow, I mean her personality was just amazing. It truly comes out. But with a tough competition at Miss Universe, I really wanted her to have that fiercer look and as, as much as possible, much stronger performance on stage. Because again, I've been talking about this every single time that even if Miss Universe is switching on a way where they are giving emphasis to ladies who can speak very well, but let's not forget that once you fail or once you don't do well, in swims with an evening gown, there's still a tendency that you could not make it. So for Ghana, I really wanted her to have that preparation, stronger performances in all rounds as much as possible because based on the photos that I have seen from her, wow, super, super interesting representative from Ghana. Next we have Kenya, Roshanara Ibrahim. She's an author, she's in the field of law, She's also a model and a mindfulness coach. I feel like when it comes to the resume alone and profile wise, I feel like Kenya got it all, to be honest. There's something about her that I find really, really special. I have, I have also heard her speak and wow, she speaks very, very well. And I feel like she could be a potential surprise. I'm definitely keeping an eye on her because after listening to that video where she spoke just some few words but I'm truly impressed by the way she constructs her thoughts, by the way she speaks, the tone of her voice and again just like with other candidates if she could come to the competition fully equipped not only with the speaking skills but also with the catwalk skills she could also be a potential surprise. We need to watch out for this woman. Next we have Mauritius, anne Marielle Ravina. After her successful participation in Miss World 2018, where she finished in the top 12, it is so amazing to see her give pageant another, another try in Miss Universe, especially that she is representing a country that hasn't placed yet in Miss Universe. However, I feel like her mold is still very, Miss World and I would love to see a transformation that fits Miss Universe. I would love to see a much better styling and a stronger walk because she is already a good speaker and that's the reason why she went very far 
in Miss World in 2018. I mean, top 12 is such a tremendous achievement in Miss World. And seeing someone representing a country that hasn't placed in Miss World coming strong from a previous pageant, I mean, that is super, super exciting. But if Mauritius wanted to grab their first placement in Miss Universe, then they really need to go all out. I know they don't have that much preparation and training just like some powerhouses but they really need to work on that because this is where they're competing at it's Miss Universe so for Anne Marielle I really really like her she's very smart and I really love that but then again let's go ahead and change the styling something that fits Miss Universe someone who is confidently beautiful because again as what I have said earlier she's still I mean Miss World and Miss Universe are different pageants because Miss World doesn't really give much emphasis on the catwalk performances which is something important in Miss Universe so that's something that they really need to work on next we have Namibia Chelsea Shikongo I have mentioned before that Namibia has so much potential to do really really well because she's got the beauty she has a very striking look but I wanted her to raise the level of performances in all aspects catwalk skills personality on stage performance and speaking skills I mean I wanted to use Zozi Bini as a comparison simply because she has raised she has raised the standards of beauty queen competing in student universe especially someone coming from the african region what i love about zozi bini is that her performance was good it may not be the best performance when it comes to catwalk and i mean swimsuit and evening gown but it was a decent performance but what truly captivated zozi bini is her ability to speak her ability to connect and her ability to have that confidence and strong presence and have that ability to command total attention to the listener and that's one thing that I wanted to hear from future candidates as well especially to the ladies from the African region Chelsea is such a stunning candidate and again looking at her performance during the national pageant I really wanted her to raise those performances a bit higher make it a bit better because based on the recent photos that I've seen from her I'm truly amazed I'm truly impressed I mean she could go all the way very very far to the top five top three or who knows they could even win this but come to the competition fully equipped but I have full trust in her I just need to see an updated version of those performance compared to what we saw during the national pageant next we have Nigeria Maristela Okpala she previously competed in Miss Earth 2018 but unfortunately she didn't place but that's okay because we have already witnessed many candidates that didn't place before but went on to Miss Universe and placed successfully I'm actually happy that she's going to Miss Universe I mean she's one of my favorites when she competed in 2018 I mean she's great on stage she has the confidence and she could be a surprise but let me just emphasize that her blue gown in the national pageant is a huge no for me everything about that gown is a no so if they really wanted to do well in Miss Universe then find a winning gown I mean I am a believer that it's not about the dress but it's how you wear it but who wouldn't who would want to crown someone who wears something that doesn't scream winner? So I still have, I mean, I am still in the balance between the performance, the way you carry the dress, and of course, winning by wearing a winning dress. So it still must be a balance between those two. For Nigeria, I am super excited for her. She's gonna, she's so beautiful. She's, she's got the right energy when she's on stage. So something that I'm truly excited about. And final candidate for the African region is South Africa, Lalela Mswane. I mean, Lalela is coming to Miss Universe as an ultimate threat to, again, take home another crown for South Africa. I also feel and firmly believe that she is the clear flag bearer of the African region as of the moment at least for me she's my choice as of now as my as the African flag bearer I mean 
it's really obvious. I mean, she's super beautiful. She dominated the stage during the national pageant. I mean, she ticked all the boxes to dominate the competition. She's super stunning. She can dominate the runway. She is an ultimate speaker. I mean, she is definitely someone to watch out for. And let me just echo some of the comments that I have read before on my previous leaderboard for Miss Universe. If Lalela goes far as top five, she could potentially go all the way to the top three and finish runner up or even win. And we have noticed that in IMG, it doesn't really matter what where I mean what country you're from, as long as you give a winning performance, you're gonna win. So I'm so excited for South Africa. This is such an amazing African group. Africa, uh, the Afri I mean, ladies from the African region. I'm super excited. I mean, I can't remember a batch where I have rooted for like majority of the African region. It happened, but maybe one candidate, two candidates are good. But this time, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of ladies to root for. I mean, it's really time for Africa. This is such an amazing batch. And if I have to pick my favorites for the African region, I my mean, number one choice would definitely be South Africa. I, I'm only going to pick top three. My number one choice would be South Africa. My number two would be Namibia. And my number three would be... It's actually a tie between Kenya and Nigeria. So I'll have four. I mean, we don't have any rules here anyway. So it's tie for both of them. But who, who are your favorites? I wanted to know your top three favorites as well. If you wanted to make it four or five, do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and discuss who are your current favorites for the African region of Miss Universe 2021. It really excites me. And let's see. And we will be talking the next region in the next videos to come. So I would love to read your thoughts for this group first. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines. Hi! I am so sorry. Let me just go ahead and interrupt you a little bit. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also if you wanted to support my channel, you can do so through this. Okay? Please don't forget. And let's go ahead and go back to the video. Bye!